What's going on everyone? It's the Print House and if you guys are living under a rock, we just had Amazon Prime Day. Sometimes the deals are fake and sometimes they're real, but today I've got five of the best 3D printing Prime deals that I found. Some deals that I'm gonna make very great use of and I want to share them with you. So I'm gonna do the quickest video I've ever done. It's gonna be a quick unboxing and I'm going to tell you what it is, why I bought it, show you a little bit about it and if you guys want something for yourself, I've got some links in the description down below. Now, of course, Prime Day is over, so I can't give you those deals anymore, but I'm gonna tell you the price that I paid and I'm gonna tell you the price that it actually is right now, and you can make a decision on whether you wanna buy it now or wait until it gets discounted again. And to be completely honest with you, I kind of forgot some of these things that I bought, even though I only ordered them just two days ago. But the first one is going to be this package right here. Opening it right up, it is... Ah, yes. Okay. So these are sticks of some kind of material. I honestly don't really know what material these are. Uh, maybe it'll say on here, um, no, it doesn't say what they are, but these are from the company 3D Fuel, and I've purchased quite a bit of 3D Fuel's filament, and I've loved all the quality and the colors they offer. These sticks are intended to be essentially shoved into the hot end, and you, uh, extrude these through your nozzle, and apparently it cleans out your nozzle. So these things appear to be about six or seven inches or so, uh, but there's 50 of them in the pack. And what it says on here is 3D clean is the perfect material to use between color changes and material changes. It helps remove stubborn debris and material in the hot end and nozzle. It works great for general and preventative 3D printer maintenance. So honestly, I don't know how much I am or I'm not gonna use these things, but at the price they were, I kind of felt like I should just try it out because oftentimes between PLA and PETG or ABS and a different material, uh, I feel like I need to get the nozzle cleaner because specifically with uh, ABS or ASA and then swapping to PLA, if you don't get all of that material out of the nozzle, well, obviously PLA prints at a lower temperature and you might actually get a clog. So I figured I would try these things out and uh, for the price, may as well. So these nozzle cleaners I got for $13.50. It kind of seems a little high, like a high price, but the first time you get a clogged nozzle that you don't take care of, uh, you're probably gonna be spending upwards of $25 to $50 to replace the entire hot end. But retail price on these is $18. Definitely recommend having these on hand, especially if you print with a bunch of different materials. This is a massive resin 3D print. And this thing, it's made of metal. But I did not 3D print these myself. And that is where PCB Way comes in. Actually, this isn't 3D printed either, but hold on. See, this is printed in nylon and PCB Way printed it for me in tool steel, but I kind of misplaced it. Just get a hold of this room. So I kind of had to use this as a prop. But I digress. You see, PCB Way makes it very simple. You simply upload your model to their online database and their engineers are going to professionally analyze the model to see if there's any printability issues. If they find an issue, they're going to email you with resolution options. The best thing is that PCB Way can handle a massive array of materials that most of us can't, like nylon, peak, aluminum, tool steel, anything like that, including a huge array of industrial resin materials. Well, you already have a 3D printer, that's why you're watching this channel, so you're probably thinking, why would I use this service? Well, I have an answer for you. Well, I got two words for you. Batch printing. That's going to be a whole lot of damage. In all seriousness guys, PCB Way is a seriously wonderful sponsor of the channel. They offer an incredible product that I use myself and I highly recommend you guys check them out for yourself. Please check the link in the description below and let's get back to the video. So the next in this box 
the uh, 3D printer toolkit. Now, this is from Creality, and actually I kind of thought that was gonna be in this box, because um, I thought it was long. So this, and there's one very specific reason why I ordered this, and that is because, well, two things actually. <laughs> so this comes in a nice case, and also absolutely destroyed inside. Uh, interesting. Man, there's like everything in here. Oh, this is like way more stuff than I ever thought I was getting. What the heck? So there's multiple sets of needle nose tweezers. These things are incredible. Needle nose tweezers are fantastic, specifically for resin printing. I love these for removing tiny supports. Uh, this actually has a multi-bit set. Uh, presumably for pretty much every single size you're ever gonna have for a 3D printer. Um, it's got a really nice handle and grip. Uh, fantastic. This, this is why I got it. This is a flexi nozzle and this is the sole reason why I bought this entire kit because this particular flexi, not even nozzle, this flexi hose thing is gonna allow you to get to tight places and still unscrew anything on your 3D printer. And maybe I'm never gonna use this thing, but the one time that I do, I'm gonna be very glad that I have this kit. The other things in here are a wire brush. Um, I presume this is to clean the nozzle. You have another cheap spatula. I've got plenty of these things laying around. I don't need any more. A plastic scraper. I've, again, I've got plenty of these things laying around. I mean, most of this stuff I really don't need but I think this is great for someone that doesn't have 700 printers laying around because you've got all of the tools you need to get and do work on your 3D printer. And if you don't have some of these things like needle nose tweezers, or sorry, needle nose pliers, I mean, you get a pretty decent pair, seems like. You've got other things like files. I'm not really sure why you'd want a file, maybe for cleaning up your 3D prints, getting rid of some uh, bits or, hairs on the prints, I don't know, any blobs, filing them down. Uh, there's three files, there's a triangular file, a circular file, and then a flat file. You've got a PTFE cutter, this is fantastic. If you cut your PTFE at a bad angle, it's not gonna feed into the hot end correctly. You've got some nozzle uh, cleaners. Interestingly enough, there's brass ones and stainless steel ones in here, I'm not really sure the difference or why. Um, this actually feels like a decent pair of uh, flush cut snips. Of course, I've got these cheap ones that come with every 3D printer, but these ones feel pretty decent. Okay, so I paid $34 for this whole kit, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you, even if this kit is not the highest quality, which pretty much everything here feels pretty high quality to me, but if it's even not the greatest quality, there's so much here, there is no way you will ever get all of these pieces at that price. So the retail price is $45. So I only saved 10 bucks here. $45 honestly isn't that bad because there's no way you're gonna get all of this stuff for such a low price, right? If you're a power user and you're using all of these bits like very heavily, then yeah, they might wear down. But I mean, if you're just a small user and you only use these tools once or twice a week, they're never gonna wear down. And the ones that you do happen to wear down, you can just go buy higher quality of those. And lastly, it comes in a nice case. If you need to do printer maintenance, you can just whip this thing out. And then when you're done, you can put it all up and then put it in the closet ready for the next use. And this, I don't really have a use case for this, but I definitely think some of you guys in the video are going to be able to use this. This is gonna require some assembly that I don't quite think I'm gonna be able to do right now, but we'll see. Look at this, my brand new tools are already coming in handy. Meanwhile. This is pretty sweet, especially if you are printing from directly from the spool and you might be changing colors kind of often because you could just have this right next to your printer and then pull one line of filament, 
And when you're done, all you gotta do, like let's say you've got all this filament out. When you're done, just spin it back up and it's super easy to re-roll filament, line it up. You don't have to find a place to store these rolls. The rolls aren't gonna fall off because they're stuck in place. I was skeptical about this, but I kinda like it. You know, uh, this is a win. I like this. I like this a lot. Here's the great thing. This isn't even expensive. I paid $23.99 for it on Prime Day, but right now you can still get this for $29 and there's a 10% off coupon. This is absolutely worth $29. There's no way you can make this for less than $29 unless you just already have the extruded aluminum on hand. Okay, so this last item is definitely not something that you're gonna be expecting, but it is going to be 3D printing related. Definitely for me, maybe for you as well. All right, this is just a normal old workshop 26 drawer organizer, something probably lots of you guys have, or maybe if you've been to your grandparents' garage, he's gonna have one in there. Probably made of metal, not plastic, but for 3D printing, this'll do just fine. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have tons and tons and tons of spare parts. I have spare nozzles, I have spare tools, I have spare heat set inserts and hot ends and thermistors and this and that. The other thing, I've got USBs that I don't use necessarily anymore. I've got potentially uh, pieces of leveling paper. So many things go into 3D printing. I've got spare spatulas even. So now the spatulas, they have a home. But honestly, what I'm trying to get at is I have so many accessories and this is something that's going to play a huge pivotal role in kind of organizing my 3D printing accessories and just becoming uh, just clean and organized. I've got so many brass nozzles, but whenever I want to go put a new nozzle on a 3D printer, I don't want to go to the bin that I have and quite literally dump it out upside down and just like dig through, you know, layers and layers of just stuff to find a nozzle. So most of these printers, when I'm printing with them, they get 30, 40, 50, 60 hours on one nozzle, a 35 cent nozzle. And that nozzle was dead like many, many moons ago, but I just don't want to change the nozzle because I don't want to dig through everything that I have. But now, just open up a drawer, get the nozzle out and just go. And I definitely think this is something that a lot of other people are going to be able to make use of. Now, this is not necessarily metal like maybe you would have found 30 years ago, but honestly, the plastic is okay. It's not terrible quality. I wouldn't load this thing down with, you know, heavy hardware in every single bin, but you've you've even got mounting hardware on the back. You've got some organ some dividers here. You can pop these dividers off and you can put these dividers inside the drawers. So honestly, lots that you can do here. If you do want to print your own dividers, of course you can print your own dividers. These are very simple rectangles. You could even print Gridfinity bins for it. And I ordered this on Prime Day for $33.74. But if you guys want to pick it up right now, it is immediately on sale for $40. It's on sale for $40. So I only saved a few, uh, a few dollars on this. But when that sale goes away, this is gonna jump up to $50. So if you guys are interested in something like this, if you're interested in getting organized, I'd recommend picking one of these up. And that is going to wrap it up for this video. And I kind of love this because admittedly, I forgot the things that I ordered. Uh, so when I opened it up, it was kind of like Christmas myself. But if there's anything here that you guys are interested in and that you might be purchasing yourself, let me know in the comments section down below if there's anything that you want to see on the next iteration of this video, whether it's organizers, filament storage, tools, or just interesting accessories that you've never heard of. Again, let me know in the description or in the comments section 
down below and I will try to incorporate a lot of your suggestions in the next video. Otherwise, like I said, guys, there's links for everything in this video in the description down below and I will see you in the next video.